Welcome everybody to another video of mine. My name is the IT guy and today we'll be looking at how to add an SSH key or actually first create an SSH key and then add it to a remote server using the SSH client. So the first thing you'll need to do is of course we want to create an SSH key and we can do that by just typing in SSH-keygen and this will create a, uh, a key for us. You can save it to whatever file you want, but by default it's always saved in the id uh, underscore rsa file. So by default we can name it that. We can just enter it. Uh, I've already created one here, so I'm going to override it. You can choose to enter a passphrase, not necessary. And over here you'll see the uh, the public, the, the, the key, the a key fingerprint over here and then some random art images. You can just ignore these. These are not really that uh, important for what we're going to do over here. So the next thing we want to do is make sure that SSH is installed on the server you're trying to connect to, which is of course obvious if you try to uh, do this. And also make sure that the server agent is running. So what we want to do right now is we want to copy the contents of this uh, the public key over here, so in the .ssh uh, id underscore rsa.pub file, the contents of this file needs to be copied to the um, to the to the remote user's home directory in the ssh folder and into the authorized key file. So uh, actually, the easiest way is just to uh, to concatenate the contents of the id underscore rsa dot pub file and we want to pipe this into ssh and then you want to do the server you're targeting so for me that is the i'm going to enter the ip here 51.68.44.131 and then um no actually it's so the username i want to connect 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 my root user in this system and we we'll want to again follow this oops I'm not typing I'm gonna do this again so we wanna concatenate this into the no not this is not in the home directory. Yes, it is. It is in the home directory, of course. This is H. And then we want to copy that into the authorized keys file. And I forgot to close the brackets here. Then it will ask you for the password. We want to enter the password over here and as you can see it's successful we don't get any errors and if we now would um, if we would now SSH with the minus L you can also do it like this you can also do SSH um, root at like this also works we will not be prompted a password we are just granted access to the uh, to the server because we copied our the contents of the uh, idrsa.pub file into the authorized keys file, which is you know, the thing you need to do. So again, you don't need to use this command over here. You can just as well copy the contents of our uh, idrsa.pub. So you can just copy the contents of this file and you can paste them into the authorized key file. Uh, no problem whatsoever. It will work just the same. So yeah, this was just me showing you guys how to create an SSH key for your client computer and copying those uh, keys onto the server. Uh, I hope you I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please leave a like and a comment below. And if you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.